Hello Aces Ace Comic Fan here and it's time for me to do an analysis slash commentary slash opinion on a recent interview article that we got from our friends at Duo Shockers. Now Duo Shockers honestly they have the best Ace Combat coverage in the you know the gaming news websites and so on so I highly recommend you to follow them and if you want to read the original article of course it'll be in the description it's I'm just gonna be talking about the main points you know and at least from what my perspective and giving some commentary some some thoughts so let's get going so Giuseppe which is the main editor of the website he interviewed our beloved senpai Kono so let's talk about it now the, the first thing that's important to mention is that they were already talking about the the release of the of Ace Combat 7 on PC or on Steam because that's gonna happen two weeks after the game is released on the consoles so I know there are some some conspiracies about the the delayed release, and it turns out it's just for optimization. You know, they really want to make sure that the game runs good on your computer. From their past work, which was bringing Ace Combat Assault Horizon to Steam, they actually really did a good job. I was surprised my computer was able to run it very well. So we can expect great things, I think, from the optimization, and you know. It's that kind of delay that it's kind of good for it's it's good for, it's good for a good reason it's done for a good reason sorry and the one problem of course that we have is just you know the the two weeks PC gamers will have to survive without catching the spoilers so you know if you're a PC gamer on the internet after Ace Combat Seven's release just weave through the spoilers you're gonna it's gonna be hard yes yes yes. Anyways, uh, they talk a little about you know aircraft selection, how many are playable, um, and here, uh, Connell, did you learn anything from Ace Combat Assault Horizon that you apply to the development of Ace Combat Seven? And Connell said, when we create a numbered Ace Combat game, we shouldn't change certain things. With something like Assault Horizon, which introduces new gameplay, I don't think we knew we need to use the name Ace Combat. Now, this is something I agree one hundred percent. I'm not. I'm not against Project Aces trying new ideas. I think the point that they did with Assault Horizon of trying something new was good. I think DFM was a good idea. It just wasn't done correctly, if you know what I mean. I'm not, I don't want to talk too much about it, but anyways. I think I think that's that would be a good approach of making a spin-off game, but just not calling it Ace Combat. Because if you think about it, Assault Horizon really did, really did the damage to the series... I'd say reputation amongst the existing fans already, so it's like a tarnish on the history. But you know, if we just had a Salt Horizon as a separate game made by Project Aces, we could say, yeah, that's not really Ace Combat, it's not in the title. And be like, yeah, true. Well, that unfortunately that was not the case. <laughs> but maybe next time. And you know, maybe next time it will be a success. It will be a, a good spin-off game. And we can say, yeah, that's that's Ace Combat. Yeah, maybe Paris. So I, I, I agree with this stance, Connor 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 is saying right there. Now, another thing I really enjoyed that Giuseppe mentioned this, is that he talked about the sky crawlers! The I played the Sky Crawlers game, I watched the movie, which is really good, except it's really boring, but it's it's good because it's boring. In the book, I think Sky Crawlers is an underrated series. And the game, even though it was for the Wii, which sucks, it was done really well. So I was very impressed with the Sky Crawlers. So Giuseppe asked, would you apply the Ace Combat formula to other IPs again, as you did with Sky Crawlers? So Kono said, actually, I asked producer Shimamoto about the possibility of doing something new, something new using the Ace Combat formula, but he hasn't gotten back to me yet. Now, of course, the point that one of the points he's trying to make this is that they're all focused in Ace Combat Seven right now. Because why would you worry about Ace Combat Eight or another spin-off title when your incoming your game is going to be released in the next few months? So. But I, I, I definitely see the potential that they could use with Power Aces developing games in different IPs. Like maybe um, Yuki Kaze. I played the Yuki Kaze game. It's not very fun. It's bad. If Ace Combat, if Power Aces made another one, that would be really good. The Sky Crawlers, another sequel or a prequel. Uh, we could also have Macross. I know. 
the from what I've played in the Macross games, the the flight mode either on the air or in space, it's not really that fun in my opinion. So I think Paralysis could do a really good job on it. I just don't know what would happen when you switched into a ro the robot mode. So kind of mixed mixed feelings about that. But I think they 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 definitely have a lot of potential with other IPs. Area eighty eight would also make another great addition. I think they had a game like. Was it back in the 80s or 90s? Like a really old game? They could make another one. Seriously. That is something I agree with. That, would, that, would, that should be fun. Of course, the wife here. Most important picture in this entire article. And, um, and one important point to keep in mind is... Um, Yusef asked, could you tell me how many developers work in the in the team in console? Yeah, the core of Project Aces is like 10 to 20 people. Seriously. That's not much if you compare it to bigger titles or even equivalent titles the same size as Ace Combat. That's not really many people. Like compared to Call of Duty, they they have hundreds of people there. And that's why they keep making a game every single year. They have different studios as well. So, But keep in mind, whenever you talk about Ace Combat, there, there, there are very few people in, in the main team. In the in the in the core of the development team, and they all work for Bandai, so they actually work on different games. There is a lot of people in Project Aces that actually work on the on Idol Master games. That's why that's why there's so many collaborations with Ace Combat and, and Idol Master. It's it, it's cr it's crazy. But of course, uh, Kono says you know the, there are many. Uh, visual designers and engineers and other type of professionals that they join the development of Ace Combat, but they're not really part of the core. That's why when you see the, the, the credits, there's like hundreds of people, but that's not the development, the, the, the core, the, you know, the really Ace Combat nerdy people, you know what I mean? So keep in mind, Part Aces is a really, 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 really small team. Uh, is there any branching in the campaign? Uh... Kono says there's no absolutely no branching. It's gonna be like Ace Combat 4. You know, if you think about Ace Combat games, they have a lot of branching in one way or the other. There are linear games like Ace Combat 4 and Ace Combat 6. There are games with very, very minor branching like Ace Combat 5 and Joint Assault and maybe even Zero because there are different options of the, of the mission itself, but it doesn't really affect the main story. Just, you, know, you go and come back. And Ace Combat Zero is like the, with the A style, like Mercenary, Knight, or or Soldier. It really doesn't change except for the enemy squad and some of the aces that you feature. And then you have games like Ace Combat 3, which has, which has five different endings. Although when you get them all, you get the true ending, which is like, <laughs> nothing really happened. <laughs> and we have Ace Combat X, which is a very complicated thing to explain. But yes, I think for Ace Combat 7, you know, Keep it simple. If it's gonna be the comeback of the series of the main games, just keep it simple, keep it short, make new players understand it more easily and veterans. It should be fine. Take it easy, right? Um gives that process. What do you think is the most relevant thing that old fans like us uh, of the series should look forward to? So Connor says, uh, it's something to be like Ace Combat 4 and 5 and then veteran fans can enjoy the quintessential Ace Combat. In addition to that, there are some elements that you can enjoy if you know the old characters. Oh, references. Now, th we already know many references from the, the trailer, you know, with the Castro 2, such and so on. There's been one character, I don't want to mention his name because some people think think it's spoilers, but if you play, if you've seen the footage of Mission 6 of Ace Combat 7, you know a character from Ace Combat 5 is going to be mentioned in the game, quite in an important fashion. And also, in another interview that they had with a Japanese gaming news website, they confirmed that a character from Ace Combat 3 will be will appear in Ace Combat 7. Because since they started the development of Ace Combat 7, they already had the idea of connecting Ace Combat 7 and Ace Combat 3. Now we don't know exactly which character is gonna be. It cannot be one of the younger folks in Ace Combat 3, like you know, Rena or Fiona or Eric. Because by the time of Ace Combat 7 they were either not born or they were like little toddlers. Yeah, 
So it's gonna be one of the older characters, maybe Commander Park, maybe Dijon, maybe Clarkson. My bets right now are on Clarkson, just because he is the oldest one and kind of like the politician guy. So yeah, I'm, I'm putting my bets on Clarkson, but I don't know. We don't know yet. Should, should be something interesting. And it's probably maybe even the... I don't think the scientists would make sense. It, they're different people, okay? Uh, Simon Cohen from Ace Combat 3 and Dr. Shredder. Uh, hopefully I pronounced it right in Ace Combat 7. They're different people, okay? I know. There were some theories about that going on for quite a while. Uh, interesting thing to those who, who are new or don't know the story. Uh, Giuseppe asks that why... They came up with the name Stranger because he points out that this is the first time he has been used officially during the marketing. So the, basically the whole story is that back in Ace Combat 4, they had this one trailer where it said the strange real world, referring to the planet of the Ace Combat games. But because the the caption was so close together, it, it read almost like Stranger like together. So that's kind of how we got the name of the of the planet. Basically, a, sh a short caption. There's also some in English involved in that too, but it's like it's a good name. I like it. And lastly, are you thinking about the usual collaborations with other IPs, as you did in past games with liveries of, of on the planes? So yes, producer Shiroto is going to talk about that. In recent years, games have become not just about the launch. But we also have to think about what comes after release. That being said, at the moment we're focused on our release and we'll think about what comes next afterwards. Now, of course, you guys know Scombat has quite a connection with Idol Master. And that's why we got so many Idol Master skins in previous games. Since Ace Combat 6, they were already there and we got a lot of them in Infinity. And that is because a lot of people who work in Project Aces also work on the Idol Master games. So, you know, it's the same people. They put references from the other two games. But I, I like the idea of the collabs. I just would like to see something more related to the genre. Like, Yukikaze, Macross, Area 88, which they already did in the past. And so on and so on. Even maybe the sky crawlers. Maybe if you really want to push and you could maybe do Top Gun. Of course, you'd have to do the licensing, but I think it would be good because Top Gun is getting a new movie soon. So I think it would match very well. Of course, to me, they can do the licensing. A lot of what they do on, on Infinity was related to games or animes that had that were already owned by Bandai so since it's the same company it's easier to get the, the the license because they are the same basically but that's something I hope they improve somewhat because you know you're playing that multiplayer match and you have your team Mobius 1F22 you have Yellow 13, Sukhoi 37, Cypher F15 and then you know you look at the other teams like the B2 Weebo Bomber, like with all those Idol Master girls, are like, oh, but like, why, why, why? <laughs> it takes so much of your the immersion of the game. You start all serious, and then you see the planes like that. It's like, what? <laughs> but you know, Idol Master is always gonna be there. That's the reality. That is the truth. Idol Master skins will always be in Excombat. I know it's. It's sad, and I've, I've played with those planes before, so I can't speak much of it, but it's the truth. It's the truth, the sad truth. But I really hope that after Ace Combat 7 guys release, they can, they can do some maybe interactive, maybe they, can, they could do a poll like, hey, we're gonna make a DLC plane or DLC skin, which plane would you, would you like to see? Assuming, of course, I can get the license, right? Maybe we can get the Super Tucano, best plane ever of all time. It would probably be OP if it was released on Ace Combat 7. But you know, it's not gonna happen. Prop planes don't get too much love. But anyways, this is my summary of, of the article, of the interview between Giuseppe, the editor at Duo Shockers, and the producer of the Ace Combat series, Kazuo Tokekon. I hope you guys have enjoyed, as always, the original interview will be in the description the link will be there 
you can read all the other stuff that I didn't cover. Anyways, hope you guys have enjoyed this video and see you guys next time.